Part three, thick influencers. I used to wonder how in the blue hell people got so many comments so quickly, knowing that they weren't genuine, because there was no way some of these people could be genuine. I'd look at them, they'd written three lines, and it was crap. It wasn't even motivational. It was just rubbish. And they had hundreds of likes and people going, yeah, oh, this is brilliant. I oh, can't, can't get enough of your content. Turns out there's lots of different ways of doing this, but some of the main ones are engagement pods. Now, lots of you will know what an engagement pod is. Um, lots of you don't, which is really surprising to me. But again, it goes back to what I said the other day about going back to basics for people. So I'm telling you now, you can pay for access to engagement pods where you'll be put in a group of similar people to you who write about similar sort of stuff and you'll all go every day, you'll be notified when each other's posted and you have to go on and, and write a meaningful comment on their post. Now, am I totally against that? No, I don't think I am. If I'm fair, I don't think I'm totally against that. Um, as long as you agree with what you've said. So I think that, you know, having a, a, a managed list of people who are writing about similar stuff to you where you can go on and find their content valuable and you write something, that's fine. I, I can get with that. What I don't get with is people who are literally fighting with you for the same clients, popping up, writing some generic spiel, even though they don't agree with what they've said, or better, this is, a, this is another good one, getting ChatGPT to write the comment for them. Stop it. Just stop it. Um, there are other types of pods. So there's automated pods where ChatGPT just does it for you. And they're much easier to spot. And then there's, again, there's other types of pods where it's just kind of a little bit less, a little bit less aligned and people just come on and, and write, oh, good post, excellent, brilliant, very helpful. You see less of those these days. I saw a lot of them about two, three years ago. They seem to have evaporated a bit now. And we're left with the, with the more long-winded one-paragraph posts. I'm betting they've got some sort of minimum sentence length that you've got to put in. I've never been in one. I have been tempted. I'm not going to lie, I've been tempted because I, I like to try things. I like to try tools and I like to see what works and what doesn't, why, why it works and why it doesn't. So yeah, 